pretty good, uh, pretty good, whatchamacallit, grappler, whatchamacallit, I play the class, <laughs> pretty good grappler, um, some skill choices that I don't, I don't think I necessarily agree with, he does abuse the level 19 cannon spike bug, but it's whatever, he only does it once, so, they didn't really notice, but yeah, the damage is, uh, pretty, uh, pretty massive, that rising shot miss really is unfortunate. Tries to go in for the tornado kick. Doesn't. Next snap. Nope. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing there. I would have went for the hammer kick, but I've been really iffy about that lately. Hammer kick has like put me in so many bad positions. Oh, the air attack was beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, Muse is the wrong way, unfortunately. And then just stands there. That's He tried to Z, but uh, Z was on cooldown, I think. Crouch. No. The DF range misses his own Deathhawk. Whoops. That happens, guys. Really good seismic. I thought he was going to get hit by the grenade. Gets hit by the, the land runner. Still able, to convert, still able to convert the combo, though. That's nice. Hammer kick. Fling. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Big damage. Misses the air steiner though. That sucks. I would have rather missed the last hit of cyclone suplex and got the air steiner than miss the air steiner because it puts you in a pretty bad position. Wild shot here. The bane of all grapplers. Oh my god. That was just that sucks. It's not that DF range is is bad. He's not bad. Just I think he might have been a little nervous and. He did that wild shot, or that moving shot, really preemptively. But it's okay. Goes off with the BM Punisher. <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty funny. Alright, so we're going to go into round two. Oh, wait. I skipped a little too far. I'm sorry, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, DF, DF range really does his strats. He just dropped a lot of his combos. And I think the reason he did is because he's probably not used to the speed. I practiced for, like, three days... Uh, when I, you know, when I knew I got into the tournament, I practiced for like three days with this gear, uh, with with the the limitations that we have. So, uh, yeah, he really struggled to get that rising shot out. I don't know what happened there. He tried to get the air attack again. That's funny. Yeah, this is just a kind of a... Grapple has to be really careful in this matchup because if, if DF range gun guards any of those, he gets a free combo. And the free combos aren't good for grapplers. It's not fun because it sucks. If we don't have unstoppable grab up, I don't know. I think he threw that grenade up. Let's look. What the heck happened there? So it goes in here. It goes in for seismic. The grenade... I think he threw it up. Or it just didn't connect. I don't know. I feel like that grenade definitely should have done something. Like, straight up. That grenade should have done something. I don't know. But yeah. Park Bo Young gets a pretty uh, pretty okay combo out of that, about 20, 25%. Nothing major, honestly. Nothing, nothing major. <laughs> pretty good, uh, pretty good attempt there. Nice, uh, nice conversion off that seismic actually. Pretty good X attack speed. I like it. Uh. DF range with a really nice wild shot into barbecue. 
Steep slide does not launch. That was really weird. That totally, I don't know why he threw that. Oh, okay, that was really smart by him, actually. If he would have thrown that, I think he would have been screwed because when they throw it, their hands are out, and so he would have extended his hitbox. He would have got hit by that, uh, by that spiral. My kick does not connect. Try to stay with the rising shot, but, man, cannons. Cannons, man. Yep. Counters with the grenade. Tries to go for the barbecue. Does not connect. B uh, barbecue does connect, but since he got neck snapped, it doesn't, uh, the, the, the continuing animation doesn't work. Really good uh, usage of Muse there to cancel the super, or to super armor through that. Uh, and then here goes the Cyclone into Wild Cannon Spike. Miss. Oh my god, I wanted to cry. That was literally like the worst miss I've ever seen. Uh-oh. Spiral. Oh man. Oh. He, he totally could have ended the game there. <laughs> that miss gave, that miss made me cry. Ah, uh, he got him with the, with his butt. <laughs> F Grappler's butt has a hitbox when she does air attack. It's really funny. You missed when Spyro used to do damage? I do too. I do too. Well, what am I doing? We were right there, man. I'm an idiot. Alright. Oh, this turned out to be a pretty long video, but it's okay. I think, I think you guys are going to really like it. Alright. Uh, so Park Boy Young is, oh man, that was really nice. So what happened there is Park Boy Young was, Park Boy Young was poking with Nedshot and tried to go in really fast with the sizing, but the f just played a lot of grapplers before, including me. And uh, yeah, he knows what to do. You just rising shot with a cannon and you get a free combo, just like that. And then the basic hand cannon juggle, X attack, Pause, X-Attack, X-Attack, Jack Spike. Yep, there you go. That's the basic cannon juggle with, with Ranger. If you guys aren't playing in the tournament, which I mean, a lot of you aren't, uh, and you want to practice Ranger stuff, that's a good way to do it. You you can juggle them with like a revolver or whatever uh, outside of the corner, but when you get to the corner, try and switch to your hand cannon after a, uh, after a barbecue or something. Or after Rising Shot. That's another really good way to do it. He's trying to interrupt his Deathhawk by poking him with the Nen Shot when he catches the guns. But uh, looks like he didn't get it there. That was a really nice try on that, uh, on that there. Does it work with Female Ranger? Absolutely. Actually, it's easier with Female Ranger. And Female Ranger, in my opinion, has uh, some pretty nice follow-ups with that as well. Really nice next snap there. I like that. Uses his invincibility frames from waking up off the ground, or from standing up. He didn't use uh, he didn't use quick rebound. So he okay. So what happened there was D DF ranged accidentally reset his gravity by himself. Uh, he used uh, rising windmill because he thought Park Bo Young was gonna try and do something. Oh man, this flamethrower. Really nice uh, spiral there. Really nice quick rebound camp. Don't ever quick rebound against a grappler. That will happen every time. Not every time, but 90% of the time it will happen. You will get grabbed again, and you'll take a full combo. And here we go. Wow, kind of spike. Bah, bah, big damage. Bugged. All right. So, yeah. Park Beyond. Whew. Takes the other match. And now it is SSTJ versus Park Bo Young. Now, in my opinion, this matchup. I don't know. I played other pretty high level elemental bombers as my grappler. But um, with the, the with the re with the gear restriction and the title and pet restriction, um it's really difficult to like, uh, 
I don't know. It's really difficult to get in when 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 Elemental Bomber has so many movement options and they can zone so well with you know with Crystal Storm and Flame Carpet and Flame Shield and stuff like that when they can just zone off areas that you just can't go into because you'll die or you'll get comboed. Um, it's really difficult to like get in as a grappler versus an elemental bomber. So in this matchup, it's really it's weird. You have to play very precise and you have to know exactly when you can go in. Because I mean you like realistically grappler only grappler only realistically has, you know, around two approaches, seismic punch and tornado kick. And they can counter both of those really, really easily. Uh Infernal Road, I'm sorry. I keep saying Flame Carpet because I played Dormammu in Marvel 3. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same with all melee classes, honestly. It's really hard to get in. You have to time your you have to, you know, time your stuff really well. And yeah, it's difficult. So immediately Park Boy Young tries to go in and, and just get stuff done. But he he already set up Elemental Shield, so uh Park Boyong can now not grab him at all. Um, and then he takes a huge, huge combo here. This does so much damage, dude. It's ridiculous. It did like 40, 45% of his health. That was insane. There we go. And then he, uh, the re what he did there was the Sashin Punch was one, and then he did XX Bling. So he ended up, he killed the, the shield, just just in time to do that. This is a really nice combo on an elemental bomber. They have no health. The gear makes a huge difference. Grapplers take a lot of damage from magic attacks. So, yeah. The gear, that was a really nice, uh, really nice Z from, uh, from SSTJ to counter the seismic. I'm not even going to lie, that was legit. This combo is also very big. Oh, that sucks, dude. That just sucks. That lost in the match. That just lost in the game. Freaking lightning wall hitbox. Super jank. But it's alright. Alright, on to game two. Alright. Game two. Um. <clears throat> Again, he's just gonna try and zone. And then... Yeah, exactly. That's how you that's how you beat Grappler. Again, the Grappler's just trying to clear Yeah, see? The the fling just it just gets completely screwed. Now he tried okay, I'm assuming that this guy has max level um max level neck snap. But neck snap is bugged right now. Neopo, please fix this. Next snap is bugged, where you cannot be launched if your opponent is stunned. So it's really stupid. Because what he did was, he did XXXX Muse Uppercut. And normally, if you're stunned, you can just, you know, you can just uh, do whatever. And you can launch them in the air. No problem. Uh, but yeah, there's a bug with next snap, where if you try and launch them, they can't be launched at all. So that bug screwed him over pretty much. But it's okay. Uh, yeah, super armor OP. Flame Circle is really good. He tries to, he just tanks all this stuff with bling. Uh, Unstoppable Grab is pretty good, guys. Big damage. Nice neck snap. See how he waited for the stun duration to end? When the purple stuff goes away, the stun duration is over. Uh, misses suck. Let's just talk about how misses are not fun. Infernal Road, pretty nice. It's pretty good, pretty good damage. XX, XX, Concentrated Fury. Infernal Road, huge damage. Flame Circle, really nice ender, actually. Gets away, plays safe. I like it. Runs, <laughs> oh no. Runs into, oh, that sucks. Runs into the 45 elemental rain. That's no fun. And SSTJ again. <laughs> Oh, okay, excuse me. Has um, he has elemental shield up again, which is nice, good for him. 
He's in a really good position right now, just kind of zoning with X attacks and concentrated fury. He can kind of do whatever he wants right now. Lightning wall, just to kind of zone him out still. I mean, he doesn't really have to do anything. The grappler can't approach. She's low health. What? I don't know what that was, man. That was really weird. That, that, I don't even know. Did he run into it? I don't know. Oh, that sucks. I don't know what happened there. He tried to go for the Air Steiner uh, warp grab from Tornado Kick, but it didn't work. And then he loses. Rip. Good game. All right, guys. And that is the last match of the day. Tomorrow, it's going to be Group E with Rickon, Wombo Combo X, GTSK, and Baybon. Group F is going to be Christidium, PTO, Charlotte, Snow White, and Donjon. Group G is going to be Jung Jam, Dante, myself, and Oxygen. And Group H, which is, uh, I'm actually really looking forward to Group H, is going to be Lokari, Mujitsu, Jono, and Ben Auden. And these, Group H is going to be insane. It is going to be crazy. That is going to be probably the most hype matches of the day. I'm, yeah. It's going to be great. But anyway, guys, I'm going to head out of here, and I'm going to upload this video to YouTube so you all can watch it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and you come watch the Extreme Tournament tomorrow. Make sure you guys come by and watch. It's at um, 11.30 p.m. UTC, but it's around 7.30 to 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So that's around 5.30 uh, to like five or uh, like four thirty to five o'clock Pacific. All right. So hopefully you guys watch and enjoy. Make sure to follow uh, DFO Dungeons uh, Twitch page. Um, if you guys would like, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Twitch page. I stream every day, DFO every day. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check that out. I love PvP. I love teaching people. Expect more videos like this in the future. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys later. See ya.